Bolt as well to come out with the ball as well, Luke Bolton. Short to Tom O'Connor. Oh, tries to open the ball onto his left foot, overran it in the end. Andy Cannon, next man to challenge. Cannon running towards the edge of penalty area, gets onto his right foot, hits it low. It's in, Andy Cannon from distance. Fantastic start for Wrexham. Five minutes on the clock. Andy Cannon burst onto the loose ball. Got the ball onto his right foot, he's hit it, it's bounced awkwardly for Harvey Cartwright. Fantastic start for Wrexham, Matt. Hollahan takes over on the left-hand side. Low cross, the edge of the box. Paul Mullen did really well to put his body in the way then. Elliot Lee comes out with the ball. Good strength by Lee. Paul Mullen dancing away with it. He's got Tom O'Connor joining on the right-hand side. Andy Cannon's joining the attack in the middle as well. And Elliot Lee's on the far side if O'Connor can find him. O'Connor into the penalty area. Andy Cannon, goal! What Brilliant goal. counter attack in football by Wrexham. Absolutely fantastic. It all started with a strong challenge by Elliot Lee in the middle. Paul Mullen came away with the ball. Tom O'Connor joined the attack. Fantastic pace from him. And he's just played a perfect through ball behind the defence for Andy Cannon. And that is a clinical finish. And that is Grimsby Town nil, Wrexham 2 map. That is absolute prime counter attacking football. Wrexham had had some defending to do. It's an incisive counter attack. Cannon. Bolton. Luke Bolton takes onto his right foot. Little back heel to Cannon. Andy Cannon now skips inside and finds Max Kluwer. Lined up for the cross, rips across six yard box. Palms clearance isn't convincing, it hits Malarkey, then Mully hits it! And it's 3 0 to Wrexham! And Paul Mullen holds up his shirt. Signals to the Grimsby fans all the booing he's been receiving. A clinical finish. Doug Tharma stretching when he cleared it, Mendy couldn't take advantage. Just to say 50 50s weren't falling Wrexham's way. And that landed perfectly for Mullen. And Mullen did the rest. And that is clinical from Paul Mullen, isn't it? Jacob Mendy had the initial shot, couldn't quite get it away, and Mullen picked up the rebound. And it's an emphatic finish past Cartwright. And Paul Mullen now quietly approaching 100 goals for the club. Cannon into the channel to Mullen. Mullen spins away from Tham. Paul Mullen hits it low. That's well saved by Cartwright. He watched it well. Clifton heads it forward. Luke Bolton stands up green well. He has to go back to Clifton. Comes across Cannon, turning shot. Good save by Arthur Conquo. Donovan Wilson with the shot. Max Kluwer was shielding the ball. Arthur Conquo wouldn't have seen that until late. Into the final 10 minutes here at Blundell Park. And there's Nahua on the right hand side. Hits it low, it's in, at the near post. Arthur Conco is frustrated. Prince, we have a goal back. Substitute, just had some space to cut inside onto his left foot. He's buried it into the bottom corner. You can see Arthur Conco's frustration then. Yeah, they've been really disappointed there, Arthur Conco, because it's been relatively easy for them the whole way through the game. And there was just that little bit of space. Instead, Wood comes out with the ball. Luke Bolton's challenge, it's fallen to a Grimsby man. Clifton. Andrews. And Raquel Pike. Rogers has come to join the attack, he hits it as well. It's hit Max Clear at a tight angle, it's all the way to the back post and he should have done better. A huge chance at the back post. For Justin Abikwu, and that would have made it a very uncomfortable stoppage time period for Wrexham had he got hold of that one properly. Yeah, and it's found itself to the back post, and you've got to hit the target in that position. Then he's just ballooned it over the bar. You hear the Wrexham fans belting out fearless in devotion away to our left hand side. Wrexham is the name, and there is the full time whistle. And Wrexham is the name here at Blundell Park today.